Hey, what's up everyone? Uh, this should hopefully be a somewhat straightforward video, but today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to increase the water pressure from a reverse osmosis system. So, you will see that I have this tap here, and over time, I am not too pleased with the pressure that comes out. So, we are going to up the pressure. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. Everything is down below, you'll have to mind the mess, but we have the reverse osmosis system there and we have the tank there. And if you see right there, you can hopefully see through the mess, there is a blue port right there. That is a Schrader valve. Same thing you would find on your tire from a bicycle or a car. It has that valve on there and we are going to check the pressure and put a little bit more pressure in there so that we can have more pressure up here. So you can probably use one of these. This is the easiest way I find at least is to use a bicycle pump because you can do it in here rather than trying to get like, you know, electric pump that you have to plug into a cigarette later on a car. I'm gonna use this. So I'm gonna get in there, attach it to, like I said, it's just the same as a car or bicycle, a Schrader valve on there. We're gonna attach it. I'll check what PSI we have here and then we can pump it up. All right, so don't judge me, but I'm sure you guys have a bunch of junk underneath your kitchen sink as well. So we have the pump connected to there. And since the tank actually right now is full of water, you're gonna have to you know take note of what you're doing. So if this is completely empty, for whatever reason, whether it's a new system or whatnot, it's going to be between seven to 10 PSI. So that's the pressure you're gonna wanna check for. And on the other hand, if you have this thing full of water and you still have your pressure from your tap or water source connected, you are going to be looking between 30 and 40 PSI on your gauge. So as you can see, I am below 20 PSI right now. So I'm gonna bring this up to the range around 40 PSI and then I should have better water pressure than this. So let's take note of that. It's kind of the stream we have. So we'll go ahead, let's pump this up to about 40, and then we'll see what we have. All right, so now you guys can probably see I've got about 40 pounds in there, just a little less, I don't wanna go too much. So now let's go up top, and even though this is still connected, we should have more pressure. So it seems to be a lot faster, stronger. I don't know if you guys can really tell from the video, but I can also check because I could also cover this if you guys wanted. I have my reverse osmosis connected to my fridge. So if I grab a cup, it should actually be coming out because it was coming out pretty slow before. So yeah, I have a lot more pressure here because this was lacking quite a bit too. It took forever to fill up a cup, which it, now it does not. So it's kind of what I was trying to do. So once you're confirmed that you have the pressure you want, you'll take the Schrader valve off as fast as possible so you don't you know, leak out a bunch of air. And then you'll reinstall your cap and tighten it down so that you don't leak anything. So the cap's back on, and we're done. We can close up our cupboards and hide my mess. All right, so that's gonna do it for today's video, you guys. Super straightforward. If you have any questions, be sure to drop them down in the comments section below, and I'll do my best to answer them, but it's pretty simple. You just get a little pump, pump it up. Like I said, if it's empty, the tank is empty, seven to 10 PSI. If it's full, 30 to 40 PSI, and then you should be back in business. So um, make sure you subscribe. Lots of other videos on the way, and lots already on the channel. See you on the next one.